Hey, I recently shared a couple of really powerful ways to promote your podcast as well as yourself and your brand. One being to take the recording and multiply it and get it all across the internet. The other is to be a guest on other people's shows. Now, I highly encourage that you go and listen to our podcast, Next Up Nation. Listen to my episode with Tom Schwab. He shares an, just a huge amount of incredible advice about how to get the most out of being a guest on other people's shows. I have so much admiration for him. There's a lot of people in that space, people who understand the value of getting people on the right shows, not just going on every single show. I mean, I go on to these podcasting groups and people are like, how do I get on other people's shows? And I see all the advice come in about, oh, just, you know, post it in the group and everybody will invite you. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm just too busy just to be on everybody's show. I need to understand who their audience is and if it's a good fit. And if I'm just like blasting it out there and getting a lot of requests, I mean, that's one more thing we have to do. We have to sort through all these requests. And I, I just don't want you to have to do that. But yet being a guest on other people's shows, number one, it's a really powerful way to monetize uh, your, well, monet, you can monetize it and you can build your business, especially if you have a business that you're building through this whole promotion idea. Uh, the other thing is, is that you can get the word out about your podcast or about your brand. So... What do you do instead of just blasting it out there and getting all these crazy requests? Now, you know, maybe you're feeling like, well, I would love to get any requests. I promise you, it's not going to take long of being out there, especially if you're using a lot of the of the tactics and the strategies that I share with you. It's just not going to take long for people to be more than happy to invite you onto their show. So I just don't want you to have that pain and agony. You know, you, you can go ahead and do three or so shows where you just go and practice and that's fine. But after that, you just really have to be strategic about it. Find shows that share the same target audience that you have. Use some of our profit strategies when you're a guest on other people's shows that you would on your own show. And what do I mean by that? Well, uh, you know, when you have your own show, you want to make sure that there's a good call to action. You want to make sure you're providing amazing value to your audience and you want to really build that trust with the people who are giving you their time and attention. And as you do that, they want to know what is the next step. I mean, I listen to podcasts and if I listen to something, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're brilliant. I'm like, what do I do next? Like, how can I work with you now? What, what happens next? And so I want them to give me a call to action. Now, whether you're going on someone else's show or you're doing your own show, people feel that way. When you're a guest on someone else's show, what's amazing is by you being there and then the guest inviting you to give, to tell the audience, where can you be found? How, what is a good next step for them? you've just gotten the endorsement of someone who's already built an audience. And it's just really, really powerful. Now, with that said, I also want to encourage you, you know, if you're, if you're a podcaster, you understand this. As a guest, you don't want to go on someone's show and just pitch. You don't want to, you know, give advice and then go, oh, we do this for you. Oh, you know, someone asks, you know, if someone asks me like, you know, what do, you know, how do I promote my podcast? And I say, oh, well, you know, we have a 41 plus pieces of content process and we can get it across the internet for you. That's not what they don't want to know. They want to know how do I implement it? So I can say, you know, hey, you know, we do have this 41 plus pieces. It goes through, you know, a double edit process and, you know, it comes out with this many, you know, this much content. This is how it's assembled. They want to know how they can do it. So I don't want to be pitching the whole time. I want to give them value while I'm talking to them. However, ahead of time, I want to know from the host, is there a, a time during the show where you will ask me like what I do, how people can get in touch with me, and then I need to be prepared to say, hey, you can get in touch with me. If you just want a list of the 41 plus pieces, I'm going to make it available to you. Here's the website. If you actually want to make an appointment and you feel like that's a solution for you, here's, you know, here's how you reach me. So have a couple ways. You want one that's the funnel. So the people are like, nah, I'm not really sure if I want to work with you. But then you also want the people who want to skip to the end of the line, don't make them go through the funnel. And I, I 
that's a Tom Schwab quote. He says, I don't make them go through your funnel if they already want to work with you. So I hope that gives you some really good tips when it comes to guesting. I feel like I gave you probably more than I intended to, but um, I will be sharing more information about how to promote your show, promote your brand, profit from it, and go from feeling hopeless with the whole thing into becoming a really happy headliner. Happy podcasting.